My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell begs Jimmy Kimmel to make an appearance at his upcoming Thanks a Thon with several offers to tempt the famed talk show host, and it's very funny. Hot off the kitten heels of interviewing Tuxedo Jabba the Hutt with a spray tan, Tom Selleck's slow cousin is repeatedly calling the interview historical. We had the historical uh, interview yesterday with our real president, Donald Trump. Mike, let me help you. Historical. Of or concerning history. Concerning past events. The word you're looking for is hysterical. Your interview was hysterical. Sometimes unintentional comedy is the best kind, and we watch two incoherent blobs try and serve each other word salad with broken tongs on break from their catering job. Night before the audit, everybody, they asked the guy, why did you delete this? We were making more worm on the servers. No, they weren't. I have some great footage throughout this, including a deep dive on Mike pleading for Kimmel. Lindell's Australian contact is revealed. Uh, there's more jail talk and a powerful interview with America's mom. So be sure to stick around. Plus, I review the latest and stupid from Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, Donald Trump, and more. Donald Trump is following in the steps of other presidents that chronicled their time in office. A Promised Land, 768 pages. Decision Points, 481 pages. My Life, 1,008 pages. Our Journey Together, 320 pages. And, and, it's a picture book. I know, I know. The website shows it will cost $74.99 or $229.99 if you want it signed. So you can have authentic traces of ketchup, Adderall, and COVID on your coffee table. Well, that's likely two milk crates and an old door. Since being out of office, Trump has said many times, I've been writing like crazy. And that just meant he was doing the captions for a picture book. Here is me hiding my wood, waiting for Mike Pence to be hung. Taking a dump, making America great again, taking a dump, me staring at the eclipse again, taking a dump, meeting my hero. Nothing says MAGA like buying an overpriced collection of stupids so you can pretend you read a book. A Republican form of government and provide protection from foreign invasion. Foreign invasion, having the glasses half on your head, doesn't help the crazy. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite him. I would, I'm gonna invite him right now, Jimmy. If you're watching this, because um, I'm gonna invite you to the Thanksathon. You can pick your time, pick your slot. We're gonna let you, we're gonna let you bump other people because you've been so, you know, you've, you've, you've let me on your show, and I feel that the, uh, I should return the favor. Return the favor? Guesting on one of the most popular shows on American television does not equate to guesting on a dumpster fire conspiracy theory live stream funded by lumpy pillows and plagued with technical failures. Jimmy, I know you're watching, or if one, you know, one of your producers, we are inviting you to the Thanksathon from Wednesday night. You can pick your hour, Jimmy, or pick your time slot. We'll take you even if it's for a few minutes, you know. Mike knows Jimmy Kimmel is watching the same way he knows God is real, the election was stole, and it's pronounced Rocco. He knows we're growing and, and he'd be happy to he'd be happy to have some publicity. Yes, because having the flagship show on ABC and 11.8 million followers isn't enough. The only thing growing are the weeds around the 10 yard signs they've sold. But wait, let's worsen the offer. And Jimmy, remember, you didn't remember who Brandon was. I'll tell you what, just what I'll do, just so you get to know each other. Maybe, uh, Brandon, you could be the host that on uh, Jimmy. Okay? Yeah, I, I'd, be, I'd be honored to host him. You hear that, Jimmy? Instead of talking to Mike, you're getting downgraded to the creep show sidekick with the monogrammed handkerchief so he can remember what his last name starts with. Let's, uh, let's, start, let's take some calls. Let's take tonight, some calls and guys. see if Jimmy's in the list. You know, the situation we're in, you have cowards over here on the right. In the middle of inviting Jimmy Kimmel on their show, the live stream at the biggest broadcast place ever went down for half an hour. All right, okay. we're back, Mike. Little technical issue, yeah, but we're back. Down for 30 minutes is not a little technical issue. We're talking about things they don't want you to hear, and then... And then your stream went down because you have no idea what you're doing. I just saw the screenshot of the spike from the attack that just knocked us off, but we came right back.
So it happens. Right. So, so what do you so what do you mean that they uh, we got too busy or that they attack? I love how Mike's first thought isn't how his dumpster fire operation probably made their tenth error of the night. It's no, it's so popular and so busy that it went down. You know, like when you're binging Tiger King on Netflix, and because it's so popular, Netflix just stops. They're like, all right, enough people are watching. We can't handle it. You're going to have to come back to this later. They attacked, and the, you can see the spike of them attacking, and it shot right up. And then, of course, the system right. knocked, at, knocked it out, cleared it out, and put us back on. But the point is, we got right. the, we got the analytics so, to prove it. Right. Brandon had a chance here. He could have went with a popularity angle and buttered Mike up, but he went with hacked instead, and he's got the analytics to prove it. If you want to see them, they're behind door number C. And then you can start unraveling all the crimes and these these three letter um, um, departments are, are a part um, that you know the CIA, FBI, all these things that uh, these three letters uh, A they probably don't live in the state anymore, obviously, or B they really did pass away, or D Marjorie Taco Gristle continues to deny science and refuses to wear a mask on the House floor. But she's fined me over $60,500 in mask fines. I refuse to wear a mask. And Chris, oh. I have to tell you something else. I'm not vaccinated. And I will be standing strong, standing up for the people across this country that refuse to get vaccinated. Dog the bounty hunter Taylor Green ain't going to try this on a flight. I guarantee you that. She reminds me of the Joe Rogan type comedians I've been on shows with over the years that claim they are dangerous. I'm a dangerous comedian. I'm super edgy. You think you're dangerous and edgy? Do a show in Thailand and open with a joke about the king. We'll see how far you get. And you canvas and you pull it from the voter rolls. You say, these people didn't vote. They use their names. They're not alive anymore. They don't live there anymore. This is kind of the stuff that's in there. Um, and we've got actual, uh, um, you know, 100% non-subjective evidence. Well, since Mike is talking about dead people voting, a Nevada man who was vocal about the left committing election fraud was caught voting twice in the 2020 election for Trump using his dead wife's ballot. I have, um, 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 I got, I had, uh, Sharona trying to face, or, um, uh, Skype in. Uh, um, that would be very interesting. Sharona Bishop was Lauren Boebert's campaign manager and one of the people who was just raided. She was recently at a rally bragging about having unreleased election data obtained illegally. And just so everybody knows, Sharona, you know, you're the founder of America's Moms, right? America's Moms, this great group. It's America's Mom, Mike. Her group of religious Karens that protest education and science and do their own research. Here's her site. Look at these winners with their don't tread on me flags and MAGA hats. Every citizen in America should be tuned in and listening to this right now. Because the fact of the matter is this illegitimate regime, they don't like what you're saying. They will come to your home with a battering ram, with your children there, and they'll do whatever they want. They'll take whatever they want, and they'll say and accuse you of whatever they want. They don't require evidence anymore. Uh, they don't require any kind of timely possession of evidence anymore. They literally can do what they want right now. Sources confirm Sharona took acting lessons from Kyle Rittenhouse, who took acting lessons from Brett Kavanaugh, who took acting lessons from Kevin Sorbo. Oh, and don't forget, Mike Lindell helped raise the $2 million cash bail for Rittenhouse. I was, uh, you know, I was an ex-crack addict, right? I, I, I am. And I had, uh, I had our local... Um, Police come and get me, our local cop had come and arrest me in the morning before the kids, the kids were going to school and uh, and he came and he said, Mike, I'm gonna, uh, he goes, I'm gonna wait. He called me and said, I'm gonna come after the kids get on, your kids get on the bus. And I thanked him so. I actually had done something wrong though, you know. And you're given an arrest appointment. That is peak white privilege. So what they've been telling me in Australia for months now, uh, just happened. I mean, this is what they do over there. Only it's it's about you. It, you can see what's going on in Australia. If we didn't have, we're their hope, by the way. Australia, this is your dream team. These people, your hope. We need to get it out there. And to Australia for those mothers to rise up for their children. Who does this woman think she is, Princess Leia? And what Lindell's R two D two? 
How is Tom Selleck's slow cousin going to deliver a hologram message down under when he can't even figure out how to work his Roco? Well, I'm sitting here getting a text from Mike's friend in Australia now about all this going on over there, which is just daily nonstop where they're doing an SOS for Australia. SOS for Australia. Some Americans may believe this nonsense, but I know from the comments that the good people of Australia know that it's unicorn wank. We interview, I, I got uh, a couple of friends of mine, one of them's on my board over in Australia. And they can't get out of Australia right now that they uh, you know, got vaccinated and, they, and they're and they under quarantine. But drones come up and say, go back in your house now. Now, if you violate this, um, you're hauled away. I mean, it's you're literally hauled away. And uh, so there's where's the next step? This is a fear game. You're exactly right. And uh, and uh, this is a fear game. And it's a fear game played by right wing douchebags spreading fear. And I got to say, I am so excited to reveal the Australian contact. Here is Sam in Sydney. It is time for Australia to stand up and fight. And I can see they are doing it. He looks just like Crocodile Dundee. Australia is, uh, is, is, a, constitutional, is a constitutional country. Is he in it's a under tent? constitutional law. For the record, every foreign correspondent or source that they interview has one of these headsets. It's like they're in the break room at Burger King to Skype into this ramshackle dumpster fire. Matt Gates says he wants to hire Kyle Rittenhouse as a congressional intern. I don't know what Matt wants more. A trigger-happy moron already at the Capitol ready for the next insurrection or the teens Kyle hangs with. Yeah, yeah it's like uh, save it for a rainy day. Save your courage for a rainy day. It's pouring, people. It's a storm of all storms. This is a this is a spiritual battle of epic proportions. It's historical. Historical. Mike still doesn't understand that word, but I do get that it is a storm of all storm. It's pouring. It's pouring. Mega tears. I just, Sean, seen internet snowflakes melting Trump 2024. Mega tears. It's funny how some people sit here and watch Mr. Clean. Mega tears. Prison aren't made for ex-presidents. They're made for people like you and me. It was a big mistake when you said he would go to prison. Mega tears. Hey, mom, look at my Star Wars toys. Bring me the meatloaf. Mega tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several theater and arena tours with Jim Jeffries. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. Also, you can support the show by checking out my merchandise. You can grab an ABD, a Stold, or a Channel mug. They go fantastic with those MAGA tears. If you want to have a friend roasted or congratulated, I do personal videos on Cameo. Thanks again for watching. Life's short. Have fun. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.